All right, what's up guys, it's Mature Didi, and I know a lot of you have been waiting for this, but I'm finally getting started on the Abyss videos. I hate doing Abyss, guys. I've beaten Abyss like a hundred times now, and even though I'm on the easy stages, it's still super annoying. So the team we are gonna be using for the first floor, stage 85, is gonna be this right here. Um, I'm actually gonna change a few artifacts before we start. So on Shu, I'm just gonna go ahead and put Daydream Jokers on. I'm gonna be honest, I don't know if Daydream Joker even works on this floor, but if you copy my teams here, you should be fine. So I'll go ahead and show the stats after. So here are the characters. We have everyone on free gear, basically. So Spectre Tibia is on just free attack set plus the free set from Arena. And we're gonna be looking at our Shu. So we're bringing Shu just because everyone should have her if you're following the guide series. She does have two reforged pieces, so maybe you're not to this point yet, but she doesn't have 100 crit chance. Your Shu's not gonna have 100 crit chance. If you crit, cool. If you don't, oh well, it's not a big deal. Next up, we have Tamarin. <clears throat> These stages are easy. Later, we're gonna be very focused on stats, but Tamarin, full free HP set that you get from Hunt. And then lastly, we have A-Raz, full HP set that you get from Hunt Challenges. So, now that we have our teams established, we are on Aureus and Push and Vile between the two, Adventure, Raz, and Tamarin. Those are going to be your best artifacts. You can switch them out. It will be fine. Um, these stages are pretty simple. If I do run into a stage that's going to be harder, I will let you know. But for this stage, we're going to go ahead and go in, and we're just going to hit Auto right away and let the boss or let these guys take out this and i will come back once this first stage is cleared all right so one thing real quick here is if you're trying to build up souls before the second fight you can if you're killing the boss too quickly um the more souls you have going into part two the better it is for you so if you want to attack the goblins for a second just to build up a few extra souls it's not a bad thing um the thing is once you start the fight tamarin is not going to be able to cr push your team uh, so keep that in mind, but you're gonna go in with full health basically no matter what anyway So it's not really a big deal regardless So you can build up extra souls if you'd like but it's not a necessity So I will come back once we get into the second phase All right, so once you get to phase two all you have to do here is kill the orbs um, The purple orbs the main threat for this team because it prevents us from getting any combat readiness boost uh, the other orb makes it where you can't push back Dark Horus, I think. I think this is the mechanics of this fight. So we're just going to go straight into the uh, purple orb. The reason we put on um, Daydream Joker is because it definitely works on the orbs. I'm not sure if it works on the boss or not. So <clears throat> we're just going to full focus, try to kill this purple orb right away. And then we'll start hitting the other orb a little bit. Uh, but once these orbs are gone, you have 20 turns to beat this, basically. If you don't beat it within 20 turns, you can get uh, hurt. So we're going to Soul Burn Raz multiple times to get the defense breaks. We're hoping that we get Poison Lands. But right here, we have Shu that's going to be doing passive damage the entire game. If she crits, she can proc twice. Uh, I'm not going to use any souls yet. I'm just going to keep saving until the end. So we just keep focusing the first orb. Daydream Joker is obliterating this orb. Um, from this spot right here, I'm going to go ahead and I guess I'll still Soul Burn it. Soul Burn on Raz is really, really nice. Uh, to do versus two souls for Stene. So just keep hitting it. So we've almost had the first orb done within one turn. Uh, I think it might die right here with the poison damage. It's going to be very close, so we might have to attack at one additional time. So the thing with Tamarin is you have to decide whether you want to S2 or 3. Whenever this orb's on, if you S3, all you get is attack buff out of it. But attack buff isn't really a bad thing when we're soul burning Raz to get extra damage on Stene. So we'll do it once just to put us at max HP, and then you see the orb did die to poison. So now we'll just kill the other orb. I don't even think you need to kill this orb, personally, um, with this team especially. But we'll just go ahead and kill it, and we'll show like the normal way to clear it. <clears throat> but you, you should see this is these stages are very very easy um they do get way harder um i'm not looking forward to those that do get way harder i again i hate pve in this game uh especially harder pve because in epic 7 the way they balance pve is the difficulty of it is whether you're getting deep or uh 15 it or not so right here we'll check see if stanny's on cooldown she is i'm just gonna go ahead and hit into the corvus so you don't want to hit Corvus too much um, during this time because I think he gets pushed if you hit him. But now the other orb is dead, and we have like 16 turns to kill Corvus. So honestly, we could just not do anything. We're just, I'm only going to S1. We could probably put it on auto from this point. One thing is if you do land a poison on him, he does boost up. But I, I think it's if you debuff him at all. I don't know if he's... He can be debuffed. Uh, he can be debuffed by most debuffs, but they don't stick, I guess is the way to put it. So, like, I could land a defense break there, but see, if he ever gets poisoned, he pushes forward. But we should be able to kill it in time that those push forwards aren't going to really make a big difference. So, you see, he's doing no damage now. He gets more and more damage over time. I guess I'll just click S2. 
It does 10k. And then right here, just S1. He's resisting almost every time because we have no effect resist. But since we killed the orbs, now we can take advantage of Tamarin uh, because we can see our push here. So now we can just start using her skills and get a bunch of extra turns, which is always really nice. Go ahead and soul burn into him. So can he not be defense broken? How have we not landed a single defense break? Is Raz just struggling or are they just not landing? Or is he like auto cleansing them? Okay, so he gets combat readiness again. We'll attack. He gets combat readiness again. And then Raz, we'll just go ahead and I'll just click S2 here. Because I guess I'm never going to land a defense break. That's fine. The thing is, he has 50 effect rows. So he has, you. if you're on Stene with no effect rows, you have a really good chance to just not land any, um, which is good. And whenever you have S3, that's a turn that you don't have to worry about him CR pushing. So we're just going to keep smacking away at him. The thing with Shu is if you get two hits like this, that's why Daydream Joker is really nice um, normally, but I don't think he's affected by Daydream Joker. My damage isn't getting any higher. The only reason we do Daydream Joker for this fight is because of those orbs. You can kill him way, way faster. I did one run without Daydream Joker, one run with. Just now testing it out, and it's insanely more efficient killing those orbs early. And killing the orbs early just means you get more turns just to hit Dark Corvus without worrying about anything. So we're going to S3... <clears throat> and it's going to take forever to kill it, but we haven't even hit the halfway mark yet, so we should be getting somewhat close to that, I think. So Raz just S1. And we have all of our souls, too. So um, I am going to try one Arky. Okay, so this is his second one. I think he does this every four turns. Yeah, every four turns. So you go through five of these, but by bringing Shu, it makes it to where you're not really taking almost any damage out of it. And Shu also doesn't give any debuffs, so it's just free damage every turn. That you don't have to worry about it um, boosting him at all. So we'll go ahead and do that. We got our S2 again. I'm not going to soul burn it. Just go into him. And see, we can defense break. So now that we landed a defense break, let's go ahead and utilize our souls. But I will save one Arky for the end of the fight. So I guess on Raz, if you do land a defense break, <laughs> that's your chance to burn. I just, through two runs, I didn't land one Raz defense break. So as you see, we're halfway done with it, but we spent a lot of our couple first turns not hitting Corvus. We we're hitting the orbs. So we'll do, we'll do one Arky just to see the overall damage that it does. I'm pretty sure it doesn't do a lot, but I could be wrong. So we almost have souls again. Every counter you get with Shu just makes it way, way better. So keeping this up is really nice. And even if you, he gets to a point where his attack dramatically increases, I'm pretty sure it's not as scary as it sounds. So you get CR pushed again. We'll put a defense buff just to build more souls. And once we get back into Raz, we're going to make sure we burn him now that we know that. So Tamarin, we'll go ahead and S1, S3. And then I am going to throw one Arky out pretty soon just to test it. <clears throat> but by killing the orb, your Tamarin uh, CR push ends up adding ev like the all the momentum you need within the fight. All right, so right here, I'm just going to go ahead and Arky. Let's see how much damage it does. Yeah, see, so you cannot get extra damage. So Arkying on this stage sucks. You want to wait until you defense break with Raz and then use all your souls on Spectre Shinebia. So let's see if we defense break here. Nope, our Raz just never defense breaks. It's fine. We have attack buff uh, Spectre Tenebrae now, so we're doing infinite damage. And we're lapping him because we we didn't land any debuffs, which is lucky. So maybe you get a run where you land debuffs every single time on Spectre Tenebrae. If you do end up getting that, just run it again. You'll end up beating it. <clears throat> so. Now we counter. See if we proc. No extra proc there. And Tamarin just S1. He pushes forward, that's fine, we'll just S1, no proc. So Tamarin dies here, and that's fine. I don't even know if she will fully die. Nope, Raz Aurea saved her, so we'll just S1 again. And then we'll S2, stabilize our team. He doesn't do very much damage. If you have Aureus on Raz, you're pretty much just chilling the whole fight. So I don't know how many turns we're at. I think we're at like 15-ish turns. But it is a time race. You do have to kill him before um, the timer's up, essentially. So no debuff there. And then S1, dual attack. Nice. 
And then I'm going to go ahead and soul burn this for no reason here. If we defense break, though, it's another no defense break. Hopefully, you guys' Raz works better than mine. All right, so let's see if we get another error message. Nope, not error message. Warning message, I guess it is. So right here, you can soul burn if you want, I guess, to try to wrap it up. So he gets a boost, and then we S3, and it'll be close, and then Shu just wins it from here. Oh, no crit, wait. So I think we're four turns. You can keep track of how many turns you're at. It's 20 turns. You can keep track of how many turns you're at by um, how many times he's launched that. Actually, he launched it at two, so maybe not. <laughs> Either way, you see how to beat the floor. It's pretty simple. All right, we just have one shoe here. She procs, we win. We didn't crit, but this should kill. All right, there we go. Dark Horror of the stage done. So I will come back with the next floor. Um, I'm going to put all five floors in this video. So I will be back with the next floor shortly. But hopefully you guys have a pretty easy time with that. It's not too bad as long as you have the team comp and the gear. And it's all free gear. Mostly. Shoe, you might have on some scuff stuff. But even if shoe's on scuff stuff, you'll still be fine. But all right, I'll be back with floor 86. All right, so floor 86, we're just going to go in with the same thing. Hit auto when it starts. <clears throat> Wait for this all to die. So this is it. Same exact team comp. Just go in again. And I will come back once this stage is... Um, cleared and we get into part two yeah <laughs> all right so from what i remember of this stage you just rush down ken hopefully so we're just gonna hit ken a bunch as fast as possible <clears throat> and then he will transform at a certain point so maybe if you don't crit him then you want to not attack him <laughs> i guess i don't know all right, we're provoked. Oh, boys, rocking us. So the mushroom is the main threat of this stage. I do remember that. It does the most damage. But we just keep hitting Ken, and then we hit Ken again. All right, half health. Okay, so now I think we have transform on Tamarin. Yes, so we transform to free up our Raz. And you're basically just fighting against the mushroom RNG on who it hits. But I think we're bulky enough with our shoe and everybody else that we're probably just fine. So I'm going to S2 into him and try to defense break. We did get it. We didn't crit though. LOL. Okay, so now shoe should do a ton of damage. Okay, so we almost beat Ken. So the mushroom will hit us. Unhealable. That's the main annoyance of the mushroom is the unhealable. This should kill him. And then poison kills him. So now he transforms into Moonlight Ken. And then you kill him again. <laughs> so he did decent damage there. He is now Moonlight Ken. So we will strip the crit damage buff off him first hit. Okay, and then Shu just has three. Give us crit resist. And he counters. It's fine. Now we have S2. Try to defense break him. We got it. Nice, we got some poisons. All right, the mushroom is one turn away from explosion, though, which is scary. So since we have souls and he is defense broken, let's take advantage of this opportunity. Get multiple hits on him, land a few more poisons. He resisted one, but it's fine. Let's heal because um, Raz is going to be taking extra damage. Um, Shu, I'm just going to click S2. Didn't crit, so it's fine. And then <clears throat> I'm just going to, I guess I'll sober in this. The, I could put up defense buff for the mushroom right here, but we're just going to try to bum rush it. So he goes, he takes infinite damage. You can't get him below 50% HP at that point. So I'm just going to go ahead and S3 Ken right here because it'll do more damage because he's got three poisons already. And now he's basically dead once we get to the next part. The mushroom's going to explode. He counters because we didn't crit. So if you don't crit, attack the mushroom. If you're not going to crit, just hit the mushroom. But you see the mushroom didn't do that much damage. So it's not really that big of a threat as long as you have Raz with Aureus. Um, it did cleanse Ken, though, so Ken's uh, poisons are gone. But he's not. He's tickling us every time. So I'm just going to go ahead and S2 without soul burning here. He will counter, but unless I kill him, and we killed him. That's that stage. Floor 86, super simple. Um, just rush the boss. Uh, the mushroom shouldn't really be a problem. All right, now we're going to floor 87. Let me see the team for this real quick. Okay, so floor 87, I think it's the same. I'm just going to use the exact same team we've already been using. So whenever I did Abyss on the challenge account, I used Croza instead of Raz, so I never had defense break. Um, and it still worked through all this. Uh, Croza gave enough survivability to my team. 
So I, I use Croza over Ares, but that's up to you. I think Ares is going to be better because you have the defense break and dual attack. But Croza does give more survivability overall, which is good. So we'll, we'll see in the later stages. We might try to bring bring our boy in so that you guys can see he's, he's usable in more content and just there's other options. So uh, I will just come back once this is done and we'll see what the, I don't know what the boss is for the stage yet. We'll find out in a second. All right, so we made it to the boss, Cartuja. Um, for some reason, I feel like we needed to kill the mobs in the back first for this one. Um, I think I'm going to just stick to that main strategy, kill the mobs in the back, and then go for him. And if that's not the case, you'll find out shortly. Um, I think that was what it is, because if you hit him, it boosts. I guess we're just going to kill the dog anyway. So we just maybe hit him. Uh, this looks like an RNG disaster with him having evasion buff, but we land a defense break and we hit. That's good. So he counters. Okay, so now we don't have any dogs to worry about. I'll just S3 here so we have a higher counter chance. Pretty sure I remember, I don't remember the stage, meaning that it can't be too, too hard. Okay, so he counters us, he hits us, he loses evasion this turn. This is our chance to do big damage. So we do our S1, get a poison. I guess I'll heal. Raz will soul burn S2. Please defense break. Nice. Okay, and then Shu can do a little bit of damage. I'm just going to S1 because she gets two hits. It looks like Daydream Joker is working because those damage numbers are way too high for a non Daydream Joker. And now we soul burn here. And then we can just S3. It should be pretty close to dead, I think, already. I don't know if there's two stages this or what. 73k he revives yeah he brings the dogs back the dogs are out oh no uh i'm gonna attack the dogs instead of attacking him i'm pretty sure that was the strategy here um in terms of soul burn we did just do stene so let's just soul burn into a dog just play it safe kill the dogs okay the dogs are almost dead s1 the dog s1 the dog okay now he S3s, this does like 3k damage. Oh my god, wait, it did 5k? Okay, a little scary. Heal it back. Okay, Raz has Soul Burn again. Soul Burn this. Didn't land the defense break though. Raz, you were, you were making me proud there for a second. You were landing every defense break. I'll just S3 so we have a higher chance to counter. He'll wear off evasion. <clears throat> okay, he counters. And then he counters. We counter him. Miss and then Stene. If she lands a poison, we won. She didn't land it. We proc. Okay, and then I guess we'll just S1 here. I think this is it, right? This is this the whole stage? S1. Okay, yeah, that's the whole stage. All right, I did not remember this floor, meaning that I was like, it has to be easy because I didn't remember it. So, same team again. All right, let's see what the next floor is. So this is some um, Mystic Medals, though. I'm sure you guys would like to get these Mystic Medals. So let me see what this team is, and I'll be back in a second. Okay, so it looks like this team... So I, all I've been doing is going to statistics and seeing what teams beat it, <laughs> and my team is uh, on there. So uh, we're just going to hit auto, and we'll. I don't know what the boss is for any of these. This is, kinda, this is making it more fun for me, just in case it's something that I have to read real quick. But uh, I will come back once we are to the boss stage. We're just going to auto this, like usual. Same build, same everything. All right, so the boss is Ball and Cezanne. I don't really remember this floor, so I'm just going to attack the boss. <laughs> I don't remember this floor too, too much. But it looks like Daydream Joker does work on this floor, meaning it's probably one of the easier ones. But let's just keep hitting the boss. Soul burn into the boss. Pray for defense break. Not get it, like always. Um, one thing is you should always try to save your Tamarin transform until you get to the next stage because like having her transform here would be huge. Now we don't have it, which sucks. But it should be fine. So we'll just S3. This will give Shu more counter chances. And Shu is definitely really good on this floor. We missed like 100 crits. And okay, so he at 30% HP, he does something. I'm guessing that's what that was. Okay, we counter. He uses all his little dudes. He revives bigger dudes. Okay. The bigger dudes are scary. So, soul burn into him again. No defense break. No crit. No maidens. 
<clears throat> All right, S1 again. No poison. Okay, soul burn into him again. Any defense break? No defense break again, but a second poison is always good. Just S1. Okay, how much damage? Does 1800? No counter. We're one turn away. Okay, can we counter again? Nice. So Shu is going to make him proc again, I think, once he gets below a certain HP value. One thing we can do here is kill one of the liches to play it safe, maybe? Let's kill one of the liches. <laughs> oh, I didn't kill the lich. Okay. So I'm, the only reason I'm getting a little scared is because we're taking some damage and we are one turn away for Tamarin and she slowed. Slow debuff is super oppressive in this game. So maybe that stun was good. But we're not counting with Shu. So I'm going to just attack him. And then Shu can just attack him. And then Stene just attack him. Yes. Sure. Okay, poison landed. Okay, well, that's three to put up crit resist. I don't know if I'm unbuffable on anybody. He stripped it away. Oh, wait. Every time the, the, the dudes attack, he gets CR. So right here, we probably could have soul burn and just won it, but I want to see how big of a threat these things hitting you are. So this is a science adventure that we're going on. So we're going to push up here, and we're going to soul burn S2 with this dude. We could put up defense buff. We didn't get one defense break this whole rotation. All right, so they just revive anyway. So I think he sucks them up and throws them at me here again. Okay. Okay, well, I think it's over. We just argue because he can take HP scaling damage. We are, we do know that. Okay, so there's that floor. That floor's done. Same team. Um, just attack him. I guess that's all that matters. They can't really do that much damage to you, <laughs> it looked like. So I think if the Liches maybe get a turn, you might be in trouble. But we landed no defense breaks with Raz, so you should be just be chilling. All right, let me see what floor 89 is, and I will be back. All right, so it looks like floor 89 is the same looking thing. I don't know what the boss is, but they use the same teams and the statistics, so we'll just auto through the first stage. And I will be back once this is done, and we'll find out what the boss is. All right. All right, so I will say, going through that floor, the mushrooms exploded. They hit me kind of hard. So this floor, it's Araminta. I remember this. You just ignore everything and hit Araminta, correct? But we are already we've already taken a lot of damage from the mushrooms. So on w wave one, definitely hit the mushrooms. We have uh, we have learned. I think this there's no HP scaling extra damage. Uh, there might be. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and put a defense buff up for this one because I'm a little bit scared on our overall. <laughs> she just said I'm scared. <laughs> I don't know if you guys have game audio. Even it's supposed to have game audio, but not sure. I've messed with my audio settings quite a bit lately. All right, so we're healed up. We got defense buff. Surely we're fine. Okay, so shoot, we'll just S1. Okay, so now S1. We're doing like no damage and we're taking infinite damage. I don't like this. There's a defense break though. That's good. Okay, Tamarin. Okay, there's some decent damage. Now, do I want to S3 here? Kind of do. Uh, I don't know what the orbs do. They probably do something important. It might be something with buffs. So I kind of want to test it. Let's see. All right, so HP scaling damage definitely works here. Okay, um, right here we could soul burn. We are taking a ton of damage, and I'm not really sure as to why. Why are we taking damage every turn? Okay, she's almost dead. I counter. Second hit. We heal. Uh, I guess I boost forward. We take damage at the end of every turn. So I'm just going to S1 here and hope we proc. No proc. We counter, though. 
Okay, now stun I hit Aramith though. Okay, now I guess I'll... I still just want S1. And it's over. Okay, so I don't know why I was taking damage. <laughs> Let's read that one. So on the first wave, kill the mushrooms first, so you go in with full HP. Secondly, let me look at what the orbs do, because we were taking damage for some reason, but it's, if you see what I did there, do the same thing, you'll beat it. But caster's not paralyzed, and ally has health recovered, and a buff duration reduced by one turn every time they start a turn. Okay, so that's what that orb does. What does this orb do? When a caster is not paralyzed, attacks all enemies, inflicts damage personal, and max health at the start of each enemy turns. When the caster is not paralyzed, uh, it decreases the duration of buffs inflicted on all enemies by one turn when an enemy's turn begins. Okay, so you just can't debuff. Really, you get the Raz defense break, that's it. Radiate Slay burns allies for three turns, that's when it attacks. So, just do what I did, I don't know, that's just weird. Uh, you're gonna take damage, just kill it. Kill Armenta as fast as you can. You should be able to bum rush it with this team. Just save your uh, Tamarin's skill three to transform right when you go in the game, or in the match. And on wave one, make sure you kill the orbs, <laughs> or the mushrooms, make sure you kill the mushrooms first, uh, like as you're killing the main boss, just to mitigate your damage. But you saw I just pretty much full autoed it and just full focused Araminta in at one. So definitely doable. Just kill Araminta. Uh, killing Araminta finishes Rin. So th she has something about like if she hates her friends being attacked or something. So you just kill her friend and she cries and runs away. So that is it for this one. Uh, we beat it all. Let's do our Moon Knight summons for any of you guys that are made it this far in this video. This is your reward for watching it all. We are going to go ahead. We'll do a Grass Summon and then we'll do our Mystic Summons to see if we get Apoc Ravi. So I'm summoning for Apoc Ravi. I have Solitaria on my other challenge account, so I'd rather have Apoc, personally. I'm going to do single summons, because if I do pull, I want to switch. I don't want to pull two Apocs and one 10 summon. Unlikely, but you never know. Okay, nothing. Nothing. Five left. Four left. Not even a spark. Okay. <laughs> okay, this is normal. This is normal for videos, all right. Still no spark. Ten no spark. Ten no spark. Let's go. Terrible rates. You're supposed to get a lot of sparks. So it's actually Moonlight, our mystics, have like the highest rates. So like you have a very high chance of getting some kind of spark throughout this, but it is what it is. So uh, I wouldn't mind getting Polly to see there, but I will be getting the rest of the Abyss videos up quickly. Hopefully you guys saw how easy these floors were. Hopefully you guys weren't struggling. If you were, they're the easy team. They're gears at the beginning of the video. But I will see you all in the next one. Peace out.